All right, guys, it's me, your instructor, Roy McQueen, and welcome to You Got a Code. Because you know what? These days, you got a code to get them big bucks. I'm trying to tell you, man, you got to you gotta reinvent yourself and up your, your skills. But I just want to welcome you to the first part of the tutorial series. So, look, uh, you want to just type in Android Studio in your search bar. You know, uh, I'm using Microsoft Bing, whatever. And you want to go ahead and uh, download in Android Studio. Just, let's go ahead and click on that. What we want to do here is we want to get the latest version of Android Studio. Oh, I forgot you guys. I forgot to tell you to uh, make sure you crack you a bang open before you begin. So look, I got at the time of this recording, we are at 4.1.3. So and I'm on a Windows, I'm on a Windows system. So you want to go ahead and download, download your Android Studio. Click the I have read the agreements. You know, we really don't read this. We just click and then we click download straightforward all right now once that's look once that's finished downloading you want to go ahead and click here and you want to just go ahead and open well actually let's yeah let's let's click open right now okay here we go here we go it's coming you know i guess it had to bend down to tie his shoes before we start running but it's coming here we go all right so we got the uh we want to go ahead and just click yes right here because we're going to run this application Welcome to Android Studio Setup. So, you know, uh, I don't need to read all that. Just click next. We want to get going. Android versus, yep, virtual device. We want to definitely have, make sure that's selected. All right. We just uh, use the defaults that we see right here and, and uh, you know, your C drive, Android Studio. Keep it going. Uh, let's go ahead and create a shortcut. I like to always have my shortcut on my desktop. And then we go ahead and let that extract and, uh, let that get installed into your system and i hope you guys are pumped for this tutorial series because it's time to change your life and it's time to up your skill set and it's time to be marketable and it's time to make that money instead of that bull crap salary and it's time to have a higher salary cap that you can reach to you know i'm excited all right so once that's completed let's go ahead and click next and then yes yeah, start android studio let's get it going all right, it's looking nice. Everything loading up. All right, so as you see, you have your little tip of the day here. Let's go ahead and close that. You can. This is just where you can, uh, you know, click through the tips that it gives you. You can slowly get into learning how to use, you know, Android Studio. But we're gonna get. We're gonna cover more of that later on. We go ahead and close this. Open this up. We need to create a virtual device and let's go ahead and create that right now let's go into tools and avd manager so yes your virtual devices let's go ahead and create a virtual device that way we can go ahead and run our first app so we're doing a phone uh obviously pixel 2 that's fine let's just go next uh, so yeah, okay. So this is what we have to do. We have to download a system image. So let's go ahead and start with the newest one that they have, which is the R release. So let's go ahead and download that, and then uh, later on we'll probably download the other ones. But right now let's just get you up and going. So this is the Android 11.0 release. So let's go ahead and download that now. Click your accept. And you click your next. You just go ahead and wait for that to finish downloading. And yeah, and then we, we're almost there. We're almost there. You're going to see a big phone pop up that's going to be like, yeah. And then you're going to be like, oh, shoot. I can, uh, I got, I'm about to start doing my apps. <laughs> Looks like we ran into a little problem right here. It says the installation did not complete successfully. That's because we have a timeout. So if you guys ever run into this right here, just 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 let's see let's press finish and let's try to download it again all right <clears throat> so once you finish the download and it stops doing that timeout crap i don't know what was going on i think my internet connection was was slow uh just select finish and then it should take you back to this screen right here to where you can select your image and now let's go to next uh we're just gonna um let's see we just keep this at pixel 2 um let's select finish 
but now we have a new virtual device let's go ahead and let's go ahead and launch the emulator and see what we get all right there go there goes our phone <clears throat> looking good looking good like nowadays they made this a lot easier for us to get started back in the day you used to have to uh download two or three different things get everything going but now there you go you see we have our google sign all right pixel X, pixel is starting i can't even talk today and <clears throat> voila there we go so after we got that running let's go ahead and close out on this and let's go ahead and e exit out of that bring our phone back up so now that we have our device let's go ahead and run our first app and yeah let's see how this works takes a minute and great old has to build and also depends on the speed of your computer you're gonna have longer build times which uh can get aggravating after a while so you want to make sure that you can you want to make sure you have a strong enough computer because as we start building more complex apps okay zero errors and here we go there's our first app right here this is a home fragment this is your first app now in the following videos we're going to go ahead and go through the code and look at how this is made or actually we'll just probably get into um explaining about the activities fragments and then working on the ui thanks for watching